Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Isaac. We're jumping in for another showcase run. This time we are showcasing pink milk from something wicked. And this item is one that I absolutely love. Anyone that knows me knows that I absolutely love fruitcake. And anything that's got like random effects. I love all those sort of things. $3 bill. And this is just like the epitome of that. Each one of Isaac's tiers gets four different effects. 0.2 times damage multiplier. This basically means we have... Like, absolutely no damage. Like, not quite soy milk, but pretty close. But each tier gets a random four effects. So, it's kind of fruitcake-esque. Um, and it's got some craziness. I decided to play as Blue Baby today because it's just like a little bit of extra challenge on a run that's going to be fairly easy at least to start with, I think. Uh, but you can see there's some wacky stuff going on. Obviously, there's going to be some tier effects that either don't do much or... Um, have a hard time, but a lot of your effects are going to be pretty gnarly, and we quite like that. You can see, obviously, there's just so many effects to pick from in this game that the there's there's some there's some crazy randomness that can happen. We have a black heart in here, apparently. I don't know where that came from. I'm guessing that was from one of the enemies that um, got killed by my effect there. Unfortunately, here we got another something wicked item, but. Not unfortunate because it's something wicked. Unfortunate because it's an item that we can't really get much out of. Um, so let's take a little look here. So healed one red heart after five uses has a chance to do a mana mega explosion in the current room. Uh, guaranteed to explode at nine uses. So at least for now, we can come in and... you know what? We'll use it in this room because there's a bunch of stuff in here. And there you go. We got both the secret rooms and all of those destroyed. So, I mean, it wasn't completely useless, but not the best item we could have found there. I've got to admit, not the best item we could have found... Yes. But yeah, also we do have obviously chances to explode walls and stuff. But yeah, this was a pretty good room to use that in. Sadly, we didn't get any money out of any of those pots, which is kind of baffling. But we did get a bunch of bombs here, which I'm pretty pleased about. And a reasonable start to our run here. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's a few items from Something Wicked that I'm wanting to uh, showcase. And by the way, Something Wicked did get an update recently, so it fixed a bunch of the items that were previously a little broken. Also, for those of you that don't know, um, Something Wicked is a mod that is in development and has been for some time, and therefore it's not available to the public. But if you would like to grab it, I can leave a link to it in the description of my video if the developer is okay with that. But if not, you can grab it from my Discord. There is a link in my Discord um in the Isaac channel pinned, so you can get it from there either way. But I'll try and remember to put a link in the description if the mod developer is okay with that, but I'm sure they will be. Um, and soon enough, I'm sure, it will get actually released to uh, to the public. But really, really good mod. Probably one of my favorite just like mods that adds like just purely items. Some of the items in here are really, really fun. This one obviously being one of them. But yeah. I kind of like the fact that we didn't get a first room item because it means that we're not super overpowered, even though this is a very powerful item, because we've not got any extra items, really, because we missed out on an item on the first floor. Uh, do you know what? We will go to the uh, alt path here, because why not? There's another mod, by the way, that I want to try out as kind of a challenge. So anyone that's played uh, the China challenge from Fiendfolia knows that that character falls into pits, which is kind of an interesting concept. Essentially, the character can just walk into a pit and fall into it and take damage. Um, there's actually a, um, a mod that makes it so that on any character in any room, you can fall into pits. How would you guys like to see a run like that? I think that could be pretty interesting. A run where just, it's a, it's a regular old run, but I can fall into pits. Because one thing is for sure, I will 100% forget that I have it enabled and make many a mistake. Oh, we got Corpse Flower here. Spawns a Rotten Heart pickup. Chance for tears to inflict long-lasting weak poison. Poison enemies periodically spawn blue flies. Um, it's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Uh, I've not, I don't know why I haven't used my world card here, but now that we've gone through this many rooms, I don't want to use it until the next floor. Good, good. My mini Isaacs are uh, having a blast. Unfortunately, these enemies, when they get blasted away, they kind of don't like coming back. They kind of get blasted off the map for a little while. As for today's question of the day, by the way, um, what's a, what's a theme that's used in Isaac? It, like, family, religion, like, gratuity, um, not gratuity, that's not the right word. Like, gore is what I mean by that. Um, gratuity is completely the wrong word. I think that just means, like, growing interest, right? Uh, anyways, um, what sort of a theme in Isaac that you really like to see explored and you would like to see explored more in modding? Because I think there's plenty out there, um, and 
it can it, it, they, they can be really fun to see. Whoa! What the hell's this? Okay, I want to run an enemy into this. Okay, that's pretty cool. I don't know what was going on with that. Was that like an anti-grav or something? I was very confused by that. We're also teleporting enemies on occasion here. Oh, imagine. Imagine getting soy milk with this. Oh, baby. Oh, man. Calm yourself. Getting really high fire rate with this would be would be pretty intriguing, so I'd like to see if that happens at some point. But so far, we've been getting a ton of HP just from um just from hitting enemies and our tea is doing good damage. We're gonna go to the shop here if we can grab ourselves a key. I'll take the pill, why not? Range down, doesn't bother me too much to be honest. I'm mostly okay with that. Mostly. But hopefully we can grab a key here somewhere. Be a little careful of the spinny my bobbies. Oh god. Oh my god, cube of meat. Oh, not cube of meat. Uh, ball of bandages saved me there from a hit. But then the next one I took right to the face. There's our key at least. Good stuff. Can now get into our shop with our plenty of money that we have going on. This is literally the exact same room I was just in. You can't just do that game. You can't just back to back give me the exact same room. That's not, not what I'm looking for right now. Not what I'm looking for. Oh, I've bloody stepped into the heart of the Thunderdome right here. The heart of all evil. We're getting a lot of money as well here. Needs to chill out with all of these little puff clouds. Little puffs of smoke. All right, what we got going on here? Um, not a hell of a lot right now. We've got the fidget cube, the fiddle cube. That's the increased amount of damage and tears when used rhythmically. Damage and tears gradually go. I... I don't think I want that because I actually quite like having my poop right now. Uh, and also, I'm a little too stupid to know how to use that correctly. And I know that I'm going to end up wasting my money and not being able to get much use out of it. So, I'm just going to not to to save face. Make sure I don't show myself up. Now, secret room. Do we have an inkling on where that might be? I think I do. There you go. Ooh, we did get the Remembrance of Death here. We got two of the Remembrances of Death. Um, it's a shame we don't have a reroll here. I do quite like the Remembrance of Death, but I don't think having two of them does anything for us. But I'll, I will check that. Now, it doesn't look like it. Basically, if we hold down fire and then move, it'll um, do a little Samuel, Samuel, whatever you want to call him, um, little attack, which is pretty useful. On certain enemies in certain rooms, it can be very, very good. Of course, we've got one of the boiler bosses here. Like that, look, we got a little hit on him there. Oh, that was kind of tricky of you. Another hit on him there. He's almost dead. Certain tier effects just absolutely wreck him, and other ones just do, like, no damage at all. So it's a bit of a, a potluck of what you end up getting here. And we will go Devil Deal. Hey, we also get a nice little um, gulp there. I like that. And... This is unfortunate, because I don't know how many hearts he takes. I'm going to give him one. I think he gave... I think he took, yeah, he takes two at a time, so I'll do that. There you go. And we got Star of the Bottomless Pit. Converts all blue flies into locusts. That's absolutely phenomenal for us because we have a way of generating blue flies on the regular. Plus we have the corpse flower which should be generating even more. So that was worth the four hearts I spent on it, I think. Obviously, a little bit of a steeper cost than we were anticipating. But I don't think it's all that bad. Um, that's nothing in it. Yeah, this, this is pretty good. It's a pretty good run. Should have locusts coming out the wazoo. Again, enemies are kind of hard to keep track of right now. Good, good. Um, and we got ourselves the Odyssey. Nah, I, I want to stick with my active. We got Baby Crater. Baby Crater's fine. He's not the best, but he'll do. Baby Crater. Oh, he's he's creeped me. I do, I do not like this room at all. Um, flies. Get him. That was, that was kind of awful. Good stuff. Yeah, this is doing us very, very nicely right now. The fact that we're getting even just one locust pair room of a, of a random variety is pretty good in itself. But then Corpse Flower is giving us ways of getting even more, which is particularly good. We got the $100 stake, one full heart container every 30 minutes after picking up. Every 30 minutes? 
Wow, that's uh, that's not great. It's not great. Three of diamonds. Three of not diamonds. the best of money there. Yeah, that's not not the best. Every 30 minutes. I mean, I guess if you're an absolute min-maxer. But then again, I suppose if you are a min-maxer, you shouldn't be that hard done to in terms of HP. So it shouldn't matter that much, really. Kind of a weird one, that is. Uh, yeah, we'll play you. We'll play you. It's only 10 cent. We've got enough for a shop still. We still didn't use our world card. I keep forgetting. I'll remember eventually. Or it'll just sit in our pocket for the rest of the run. As as is the regular for an Isaac player. Right. Oh, now that was, that was tickety-boo. That was absolutely beautiful. Now, this is not so beautiful. But we managed it anyways. Oh, dude. Corp Flower plus Star of the Bottomless Pit. By the way, Star of the Bottomless Pit. Another item from um, Something Wicked. So, it's kind of a Something Wicked showcase here. Oh, my fucking life. That was uh, rather crazy of you. Thank God the ghost wasn't on me. Otherwise, he'd have been very dead. Oh, wow. That was uh, an easy one there. A rather easy one indeed. And we have gained ourselves a ton of consumables. Can we get the item? Can we get the item? We can, but it took me getting a little bit of uh, damage taken. We got the item. So I think we're in a good place. HP, not so much, but overall of the run. That's a tears up as well. We're looking for tears up, so I'm quite happy with that. Right. We'll sail, sail away. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. Good stuff, baby, good stuff. Now, do we want to actually do a mother run here? I don't know, probably not, but I don't know if it's, it's seeming somewhat plausible. Oh, dude, I'm taking some really rough hits right now. Some very rough hits. This boil The boiler floors are kind of difficult. Oh, dude, that did a ton of damage to him. The boiler floors can be kind of difficult. Ooh, another tier's up. And an angel deal to boot. Even though we got a devil item. Um, we will take the halo and be very happy about it. Thank you. More tears up. Okay, our tears have reached a pretty good level now. Do you know what? I think I'm just going to leave this floor. Um, I'm going to go to the mines, but I'm not going to do mother, I don't think. Or I'm just going to accidentally fall into there and not do the mines at all. So, I apologize by the way, this chest keeps changing each time we see it. Algis? It's decent. I'll pop the world. I remembered. Yay. There you go. Really, you only care about it for finding the secret room easily, but even then on most floors, I don't particularly care about that. The world card's kind of a weird one. It's just kind of a nice to have, and I did not see that there. My bad. Oh my god. Hello. I was not expecting this on today of all days. I was not expecting this. I haven't seen Rock Bottom in a regular run in quite some time. Quite some time. So this is, uh, this is pretty special. This is pretty special. Now, what can we do to maximize our Rock Bottomness? I do not know. Now, I don't know if there's any stats I can gain through my pink milk, but there probably is, right? Trying to think of any other ways we can get stats, but I mean, at the minute, already it's very, very good. Already we're in a good spot. We just need to find more ways of making this making this work for us. There are plenty. Plenty of ways. Destroy the poop. God damn. Good. Aubrey. Uh, that's actually potentially pretty good. Basically sets up a shop in each floor's shop that allows us to buy different active items. Which I think could be pretty good, especially if we can find active items that give us stats. Let's not die though, because we are taking bad damage at the moment. Oh my lord, the fire rate increase has been uh, pretty gnarly for us. Pretty gnarly. Hello, hello. Um, we do have a Tainted Beggar right here. Um, we do also have an Algis that we could potentially play for this guy. Um, 
yeah, I'll give it a go. It's not particularly worthwhile because they're pretty slow to play. And they're also pretty goddamn worthless. Yeah, okay, he just died. Well, that was, uh, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Little bit of a waste of analogies there, but hey her. Would only have wasted it on something else anyways. Yeah, very much liking the setup we got going on here. Liberty Cap, very, very nice. Actually, Liberty Cap's great because Liberty Cap is going to give us a bunch of stats that we'll keep. So we basically, we basically get Magic Mush for free out of Liberty Cap. So Liberty Cap's very, very good for us. Very, very nice. That's not Aubrey. Who are you? Um, you must be the right guy, though. I'm going to buy one of these first. Let's see what other active items you can give us. Wait, are you the active item guy? Yes, you are. Okay. Um, that's potentially pretty good. It was at least a book. I'll take it for now. Ooh, destock. Yet another something wicked. Restocks the current shop. If use inside a shop will also similarly restock devil deals and stairway shops. Ooh. Interesting. I mean, let's pop this for now. We'll see what our third active ends up being here. And we get Malice, which I don't particularly care about. But yeah, if we restock the shop, it, it basically re-rolls everything in it. It's pretty good. I, I, I would kind of like the compass, to be fair. So we'll keep an eye out for being able to get that. But yeah, right now, I'm very into all the random stats we're going to be getting from um, our Liberty Cap. I'm waiting for the damage to come from Magic Mush. It will come eventually. I think we've already gained a bunch of speed and fire rate off of the back of it, by the looks of things. But I don't think we've gained any damage off of it as of yet, from what I'm aware of. Good, good. Oh my god, we got a golden crystal key. Okay, we'll do our boss with Liberty Cap just to see if we get any more stat increases, but we will 100% be taking that instead. Because a crystal key is amazing. A golden crystal key is kind of insane. This is an absolutely wild run. An absolutely wild run. I am in love. I do have to say, this is a slightly challenging boss fight right now. I don't know why this guy's taking so long to die. But I prefer him not to. There you go, we got him. Consolation prize. Didn't give us any stats, unfortunately. But yeah, crystal key, very good. Golden crystal key, oh my god. 50% chance to open up a red room is wild. The great thing about it as well is it's going to be red rooms that open red rooms. So we're, we're, we're probably going to get a few ultra secret rooms here and probably a, a little bit extras on top of that. We're going to get bookworm here most likely. Oh, we got the delirious book. Awesome. Okay. I don't think I can get those without flight, which is a little annoying. Um, weird book. Mimics books. Touch a book pedestal to mimic it. Cycle through books with the pill thingy. So we take this. Got that. Oh, we got Genesis book here. Interesting. Interesting. So I think I think Genesis. So I'm curious, right? So Genesis. I just need to test some things. Genesis book normally makes you take double damage, but every three rooms you can heal a black heart. So do I take double damage? No, I don't. Oh my god, this is incredibly powerful. <laughs> this is a ludicrously strong run right now. What in God's green earth is going on? Weird book is just really good in general. Obviously, you can fit other books into it, which is really cool. But, yeah, the fact that it doesn't activate the on-hold effect of this book, but still gives us the ability to generate black hearts for three-room charge, is nuts. Absolutely nuts. Right. 
I'll crack both of those open, thank you. Oh my god, he almost got me. He almost got me. I'm wondering if we can break fire rate cap with uh, rock bottom here. Maybe. Maybe. We shall see. I have to say, one thing I've noticed over the past, like, few months, I'm starting to get a little bit of RSI, I think, in my left hand, because I use WASD on the keyboard for gaming. And it definitely, I can definitely feel it in my hand quite a bit. Which isn't good. <laughs> I'm like, 26. <laughs> I shouldn't be getting goddamn arthritis or whatever. <laughs> I can't game as long as I used to. Let's try and look for a hanged man as well. Here's our first red room. Lovely. So yeah, as I said, there's a chance that red rooms will open into other red rooms, which is going to be very, very nice. We'll see if that happens here. Unfortunately, not with this one, but it will happen eventually. I promise you that. A lot of money to work with there. Ow. Here's another red room. Cool, baby, I love this. I think we got a golden bomb in here. Is it a golden penny? Golden penny. I knew there was a golden something or other. Lovely. Chariot. Chariot's probably pretty good for the boss, actually. Very, very high fire rate while we do the boss. Little bit of extra shot speed. Thank you. God, I'm loving this run. I mean, just the pink milk to start, very fun. But then getting this star of the bottomless pit cinch situation we've got going on on top of it. I can't open this chest. What the hell? And then all this other stuff we've got going on with this too is just kind of wild. Oh, wait. Ooh. Ooh, wait. Hold up. Yeah. Yeah, I just realized... I shouldn't have done that so far away from the door. But I just realized, um, yeah, we just have 18 fire right now. That's like the best card we could have possibly have found. So, do you know what's like, this would be great with soy milk. Well, we basically have soy milk without having soy milk, without having the damage down from soy milk. Or the additional damage down, I should have said. Right, we are looking for books, my good lad. You gave us one last floor. Can you do it again? Garden Trowel isn't gonna cut it, Chief. Isn't gonna cut it. That isn't gonna cut it either. What is this? Inner Demon. Okay, unfortunately nothing that we want. Bought a bomb by accident, but I don't think it's gonna hurt us too much. Yeah, good old Chariot giving us a solid 18 fire. Probably probably one of, if not the best possible cards you can get for Kidney. Uh, for Kidney Stone. I was thinking of Kidney Stone because it gives you a lot of fire. Right? For um, so, uh, Rock Bottom. Does anyone know of any better cards that you can get? This might be the best one ever, right? I bet some of you were absolutely yelling at me when I picked that up. Like, you have Rock Bottom! Use it! Use it! <laughs> I remembered. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm actually surprised how uh, little Crystal Keys propped so far. 50% chance I would have thought we'd have seen a lot from it. Range. That's not range. Back, unfortunately, the range didn't actually apply because of Rock Bottom there. Rock Bottom giveth. Rock Bottom taketh away. Ooh, hello. I like that heart. Unfortunately, a boss item here we will not be taking. Bit sad. Uh, well, right. Down we go. God damn, this is a just unbelievably excellent run. Uh, what's going on here? Ow. 
Wasn't a fan of that, my guy. Wasn't a fan of that. Okay. Oh my god. Four effects. This is like way better than Fruit Kick could possibly be with this fire rate. Because <laughs> it's four effects every tier. It's all the poops. It's all the poops, baby. Oop, we got another card there. Ooh, is that a damage multiplier I see? Hello, hello. Thank you very much. Ow, that was kind of tricky. You teleported behind me. God damn, this, this, this book is just making us invincible as well. Now, do I actually need to use bombs at all, or can I get away with uh, opening this tinted drop like that? Yeah, I can. Cool. Not that I need the soul heart, but... Ooh, free entry into here is quite nice. I mean, we don't need it, but thank you. Oh my god, 18. I was like, do you reckon with rock bottom we can break the fire rate cap? Oh, how foolish you were. How foolish you were. Like, do you know what's my biggest issue right now? How, like, how do I even title slash thumbnail this? Because this was meant to be a, this was meant to be a thingy showcase. Ooh, that's a red room to an error room right there. This was meant to be a showcase of, um, oh wait, no, is it? It's on the map now. It's on the map. Should be fine. Uh, it's meant to be just a showcase of pink milk. But, um, now it's become so much more. I mean, like, obviously, rock bottom's going in the thumbnail. Like, it got to. It has to. <gasps> Hello. A cheeky nine volt. Would you like to give me any more books? If you would like to ever pay out, my lad. Berserk. An interesting offer. Red candle. Also interesting. Very on theme with the red rooms and such. Hey, it's a book. On you skin, a disease or medical condition for the rest of the floor. Boom. Boom. We get into the parasite. Oh, god damn. Hey, there you go. The first one. And we get the pentagram. Ab Abaddon even, should I say. Not the pentagram. Abaddon. Wow, beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. We've not seen our item room yet, have we? Probably going to have to go back for that. Oh god, this has created something quite insane. <laughs> oh my lord. Because the parasite splits and all of those shots have four effects on them too. And it's just chaos. The room's apparently not over. Okay, there you go. That's why. Didn't see all of you fellas. <gasps> Continuum seems fun with this. Apple. Apple of Pride gives us a bunch of stats that we no that we don't lose. Normally we'd lose them on hit, but no. Continuum has uh has elevated things, so to say. How is this rock not dead yet? Come on now, I tried to place a bomb down and it just got flung. Okay. Okay, well this has been a rather spicy. Do you know what? I'll have you. You seem like you'll be useful. Our range has gone up significantly, our damage has gone up quite a bit too. Speed is great. Obviously, fire rate's amazing. Uh, technically, I guess I could pop this for the extra range. Thank you. Oh, my God. I forgot this thing would have Parasite on it, plus all the other stuff. Right. We go. My God. This run. <laughs>
This run, people. This heckin' run. I barely know what to say. But I know that I can say I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> Another red room there, we'll go back and grab that in a second. Another red room there. We've not had a red room off of a red room yet. Oh, there you go. Literally happened the moment I mentioned it. My favourite thing about Crystal Key, especially if it's gold, the fact that you can get a red room off of a red room, and, like, it's not super often, but you can get some really crazy chains going where you can go, like, five or six rooms deep because it just keeps pro uh, procking. Let's pop the uh, medical book. Medical book's pretty good because it could give us some stat ups here and there. Burn spurs. But the, the book of Genesis is by far the best. Excuse me, trinket. Don't leave me. I need you. I need you. To be fair, actually, hold up. I should really drop my trinket just somewhere so that I can put it in the thumbnail. <laughs> there you go. Get a screenshot of it. Because it's like, like getting a th getting the sprite of a golden trinket doesn't work because the golden effect is just a layer applied over it. So there's no there's no actual sprite for golden trinkets, which is kind of annoying for making thumbnails. Right. You're gonna get bested pretty heavily, my guy. But the fact that we could continue on top of this as well is kind of wild. The black heart there. We get ourselves full mapping. Hell yes. Hold up. Oh, I'm like a brain in a jar right now. I just want to check. If I kill him, can I reroll this for a broken heart? I can. Seraphim, not quite what I'm looking for, but good enough. I'm gonna say one. I'd say anything from one to three broken hearts makes very little difference on a run, um, because you just you don't need that much health. If you, normally, if you if you have that much health, you don't need that much health, sort of thing. Another card. Check that. That could be a stats card. Super secret room. Saves us a bomb at least. Thank you. Not anything super useful, sadly. Hello, good sir. I'm stealing coins from you. It's the other way around this time. Not that I need them. I'm just going to leave them there. Some of these rooms, like this would be a kind of a hard room normally, but... I'll just turn you on to black hearts and move on with my dear. What, what's left? There you go. Oop. Oh, red room. Quickly check that out. Damn it, no ultra. How dare you. There's infestation shots going on in here. There's just, like I said, there's just every effect. You just you can't stop it. The ocular rifts proc so often as well. <laughs> Pink milk is absolutely insane. It is delicious. Alright, we're on the home run, baby. We're on the home run. The home stretch, as I should actually say. Oh, it's you again. Why Why on these later floors are you always in the secret rooms? Especially when, like, money is just useless to me. It's okay though, don't worry. There's a blackout on the floor, or I can just generate one with my active item. And again, really have no no earthly worries whatsoever. And 
blew myself up. Again, don't matter. Nothing much there for us. Right. Move to the last floor. Hello, Isaac. Would you like to meet all of my stats? Even just the the reverse um, reverse unicorn card. What the hell is it called? Uh, even just that one card with Rock Bottom makes this entire run so much better. Like, Rock Bottom doesn't always have to do a ton for you. But just doing that one thing of giving us an insane fire rate made the run infinitesimally better. I was saying right at the start how fire rate was the key to make this, this run really pop. Right. It, to be fair, Pink Milk should probably come with a fire rate down multiplier as well, like a 0 0.75 or something, just to limit its power a little bit, because it is still insanely strong. Don't think we need Reflux. Beautiful. Ow. I'm not even quite sure what's happening. I, honestly, on this run, am I ever quite sure what's happening? I don't really know. <laughs> I can't really say. Ooh, interesting. Ah, oh, wait, no. This It gives us fire rate, but it's not. It's going to take forever before it gives us enough. Alright, quickly just go into this red room over here that I opened that I didn't even notice. Don't nuke me, sir. Don't nuke me. I actually got hit there. Wow. Oh, we got two items in here. Two of which I don't really care for. Unfortunate. Just it, This just shows like the true power of tier effects. Like, obviously this run we've got decent damage and crazy fire rate. But even on regular runs, like even before we got all this stuff, this was still like a really, really good item. Because the tier effects are just so unbelievably strong. Yeah, no, no horsey for you, thank you. No horsey for you. What, what, what's left? Just a bunch of spiders. Lovely. <laughs> I didn't even attack that second one. He just kind of died of his own accord there. He just felt like dying, I think. Proptosis. Is Proptosis good for us? I think it is. Right. One step off the boss. I suppose Proptosis kind of ruins Continuum a little bit, which is a shame. Should've really thought about that. But it, did, it does add a good, amount of, a good amount of damage if we barrel stuff. Just means we're more easily capable of exploding ourselves, but... I'll be honest, I don't think that matters a whole lot. <laughs> I think we're winning this no matter what. A good old ouch there. Well, you will be teleporting on occasion, but I won't let that hold us back. Right, there you go, baby. We did it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Absolutely insane run. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.